Johnny City. Yo, the purple sub, I'm digging it. You try to slide under. He's got that avalanche slide ready. He catches one trade though with that ice ball, and that's gonna be a, a wrap as far as damage. All right, here we go. Can you get something? Get in the slide. Quick 13%. You got another one loaded up. Oh, man. So dangerous with that out there. Oh, we caught him. Oh. No, Dave's doing such a great job zoning, too. Oh, good punish. Oh, no punish. Oh, man. I spoke too soon. Commentator's curse. <laughs> Round two. All right, you got it, Ultra Gamer. Go with the tree. That's what he wanted. Ooh, whoa, he just went low. He just went back three on him. He's like, yo, I can firm off one hit. That's what we do here. <laughs> oh, nice slide. Bang. Stuck in the corner. Alright, Delta 8 still does have his fatal, but remember he canceled it last time, but the up three is gonna take it. I was gonna say, you never know with Johnny, like that 50% right there, that could have been gone. You never know. Oh nice. Throwing him back into it. Oh, what's the grab? Wow. Dude, he's trying to get that ice ball. He wants that trade. Delta A being really smart with his zoning, too. Ah, oh, man, he just gets clipped. As soon as I said it. He doesn't get the combo off of it, though. Not good. All right, flipping size. Comes to eight with fatal blow on deck. Oh, nice slide. Looks like he's got to cut that space down before he can slide. It makes it makes reacting a lot more difficult because that does kind of arc. It like arcs like high to mid. You can crouch it when you're a little bit closer. Oh, that's it. Delta 8, gonna go up 1 to nothing. Oh, a mechanic change that affects all characters? Yeah, I hope it's the breakaway too. I hope they also add, like, 3 frames to the getup. Like, in most fighting games, there are frames on the getup where... You're vulnerable, you have to block, but you like can't hit a button. Somewhere like hit stun. But this game doesn't have that. That's why in this game, wake up buttons, wake up jump, like all this like felonious stuff is so effective in Mortal Kombat. But you don't see that in other games because there's this added frames of get up uh, where you have to block, but you can't hit a button. Uh, again, similar to hit stun. So I hope they add something like that. Like, get rid of this felonious stuff. Like, force people to wake up free. You know what I mean? Like, if you're gonna wake up, wake up with a wake up. <laughs> Yo, D. Hugh. Yo, that's okay. I moved Iron Armor up. I can put you in his spot if you want that spot, if you still wanna play, D. Hugh.
So you, you can still play. Just let me know if you're able to play in that spot. I think it's the last match. All right, cool. Yeah, you got it, man. Oh, the air to air. Oh, God. Yo. It's not going to be death, but it's going to be close. Goes with the overhead. Doesn't commit to it. Down one city. As the snow falls. The mega down ones. Final round. Fight. <laughs> He's out of the range of the slide. You don't see that all that often. That's a nice launch here. Oh, the short hop. That's a punish. That is it right there. And Delta 8 going to go up 2 nothing. Ah, nice, DU. That's good, man. Coming off a win, too. On that mega win streak. All right, Iron Armor using Jade. I didn't see what variation he said. I was over here looking at the chat. I know that a lot of Johnny players say that Jade gives Johnny a lot of issues. Especially in this variation. But we'll see. We'll see. It's all about that patience. Zoning them out. Yeah, those high force balls probably give her a real pain in the neck. Here, <laughs> the patience. Oh, good job. Knew to wake up was coming. Yo! Head down two. Extra crispy. Who tries to go for it. Oh, I thought he was going to mash down two, but it's not this, so. After that, you got to be ready for it. <laughs> After that string. <laughs> Here we go, Delta 8 on match point. You drop this. Round two, fight. Alright, launching. Nice, very good. Delta 8 looking real good right now. <laughs> I love his fatality. Ninja Mime was awesome! Yeah, I rocked it. It really tore me up. Alright, Bruce with Shang. This with Jade. Join me, Jade. Why would I abandon Katana for you? To spare your parents' souls, of course. Oh, snap. Yeah, he's going to be able to use the shake for her projectiles because the startup is so big. So, this is going to want to fight this, you know, up close to mid-range. Keeping him standing, gets the grab. Ursa was off to a really, really quick start. 
this going into the unsafe stuff. There it is. Yeah, I'm digging the uh, the Shang threads. I don't think I've seen that. Ooh, crush, crush city. Yeah, look at that space. Ooh, tries to get the down too at the end there. This says no. Both these characters have really good down fours. Yo, right back in your grill. Oh, nice jump out. He knows the matchup. Oh, ripping apart. Ripping and tearing. It's like Doom out here. And Brusov, you're going to go up one to nothing. Ooh. Ooh, whiffing the grab. That was a crazy neutral guy. we go. This getting some things going. Overhead is going to connect. Forcing a breakaway. Bursa playing that patient game. Slowly cutting down space. He's, he's kind of playing it you know, however he wants to play it, really. Sometimes he's backing up. Sometimes he's going in a little bit. I think he's kind of still trying to feel out exactly where he wants to play the match at, but it seems like every time he Decides to go in. He's been really successful. Oh, got the crush on him. Oh, no. That had to be an input error. Ooh, the jump kick. Shake City. That's what I was talking about before. It was... Projectiles take so long to start up. His neutral crouches have been on point. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Ooh, nice neutral jump, and he's going to convert, too. Yo! Slide! Final round, fight. All right, here we go, Viss, getting some things going. Stagger game is on point. Plus frames, getting the down four. Burst of content backing up here. Oh! Yeah, you can't, you can't down two there against Shang. This is back three. It's too quick. You're going to eat a ton of damage. That was a very good uh, choice there by Viss. Yo, he spent it! Man. Oh, there it is. There's the punish. And this is on the board. Tying things up one to one. Told you guys, it's early. <laughs> Off to a quick start. Good poke by Brosif. Oh, nice anti air. Down two. Oh. Nice grab. He's going to flip sides here. This is big. Corner position against Shang, too. Oh, 
this out of the way, the overhead. Oh no. The recovery on that looks like it was really short. Oh wow, that hit from like max range. I think Viz saw it. I think he was going in for like a an attack to punish it. Thinking it was gonna whiff, but no. The top you tester, what's up, man? Yo, Rag, what's up? Round two, fight. Yo, that lift from that range? That's risky business. Alright, overhead. Yeah, this play is untamable. A lot different than a lot of the untamable players that I see, or at least that I played online. Most of them play this variation like Maniacs. This seems pretty calculated with this variation. Oh, that was a very good up three there. Oh, the overhead. Ooh, ooh. That's going to be the round, too. This Pioneer's untamable. Yeah. Everyone that I play that plays Untamable, they're like straight lunatics. Like just down one in the butterfly and stuff. Like, bro, like get this. What is this? Yeah, these slides are coming in. Mega quick. Plus frames. We try to get the parry. Oh, there's big whiff. Big whiff. Not able to really convert off of it. The jump kick is uh, pretty good, though. And we're going to get a kill right here. And Brissif looking good, man. His shang is super good. He's going to go up two to one. Yeah, sure. Hop to teleport. You're right. Dude, the teleport actually has such a long startup. You can just like one one it. Like you don't even have to short hop it. That's that that low comes out so slow. Yeah, Slay's done them with me in the past. He hasn't done it in a while. Probably since uh like the end of last year. He's been busy with work and stuff. Plus he's been uh starting to stream and stuff on his own. Oh, nice grab. Oh, the, oh, what? I was about to say that whiff, but no, not a whiff. A hit. Yo, those micro ducks. First one is like really good at that. Bursif is on match point. Round two, fight. Oh boy. Uh oh, that was definitely an input error. Unfortunate for this. Bursif right now, making his way out of the corner. Oh, Butterfly, you always got to worry about that. When your back is to the corner and they can get that conversion, a J player off of a stagger, a down one, they'll use that Butterfly because the reward on it is so big. They don't even care if it's unsafe. They analyze that risk versus reward and they're like, yo, we're in there. Nice down two. This staying alive is it going to be a punish. It is a punish. Fatal blow too. Nope, not able to get it. Ooh, out of range. It goes under the projectile though. 
Ooh, text it. So we try to go for it again. Everything's whiffing. <laughs> and this is going to take the round, staying alive. Final round, fight. Patience. Oh, it's going to be a good juggle. Plus frames. Yeah, this, this is a tough spot against Shang, man. Especially if you don't have any any defensive meter. He knows you can't roll. Shang will eat you up with plus frames in that situation. And that's exactly what Brusev did. And he's going to take the set 3-1. to one. Good games. Look at him out there. Ah, oh, nice tea, Blaze. Only one of us walks out of here. You sinned on a scale reserved for gods. And you can't beat that. Ah, <laughs> uh, Black Dragon, not tonight, nah. Yo, Hippo says that he's a tier whore now. He only uses top tier. Comes out here with Shao Kahn. What's going on? Oh, tries to get the dive kick going. No go, though. Yo, that down four does have some mega range. Punish. He's backdashing out of there. That backdash is super quick for spawn, man. He's got some of the best movement in the game. Both these characters actually move really well. Yo, he tried to down four in the shoulder charge. That's just disrespectful. Try to do it again. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, getting out of combo, forcing a breakaway. Oh, he got it that time. What's he doing? I thought he was about to mercy him. About to make me take this win off the board. Nice up three. Getting that overhead going, getting a knockdown. Oh, that's a good convert. Oh, he missed the butt of the sword. Another good convert here. Oh, he missed the uh, the hammer placement. He's got the buff out though. Anything that he does is gonna hurt super bad. Uh-oh. Bong. What do we got? Oh, no. That crush is going to kill? No, it's not. That will, though. No, that was wild. Nice neutral shot. Ooh, drops the end there. Still some good damage, though. No meter to burn for that. Dude, this is like a slugfest right now. <laughs> he catches the teleport. 
Mmm, good spacing. Yo, D. Hugh. Gonna tie things up. One to one. <laughs> D. Hugh says, I knew he was coming. <laughs> oh, nice whiff punish. Oh! He's holding that sword a little too long. Good grab. Ooh, he went in a teleport there. Wow. Look at this convert. He's going for that damage. He's going to save the crushing blow. And he goes with the overhead on wake up. Hey, it's a mix. He's like, yo, he won't block it. I'll bet it all. Ooh, very good back, too. Able to confirm that, too. That was really good. I mean, either way, it's unsafe. But if you can confirm it into the teleport, you're good to go. I mean, you could go into stance with this variation and keep it safe, but... I don't know. That's a really tough confirm. I love the way he's using that forward three and the stand four. Crush, that's death. DU gonna go up two to one. <laughs> Rest says you know he's a liar, Gleets. <laughs> Oh, that's a punish. That is a punish. All right, Hippo getting the, the little trip guard going. Hmm, catches a hit in the button. Good confirm here. Sometimes you just use the variation that you're most comfortable with, even if it's not the best variation. But if you play with that variation well, you know, that's the one to stick with. Your end is near. Round two, fight. Oof. That's a crispy punish. Good damage here. Hippo looks like he's turning things around with this variation. Mm. Yeah, he's he's still throwing that spear. Oh, yo, <laughs> he went for the chainsaw. Oh no, not like this. Not like this. Oh, he poked him. Down one on wake up. He's going for a ride now. Oh, man. The hippo ties it up two to two. Yeah, he dropped it. I saw that, man. Alright, so we got Searing Rage out here. He's got some good movement with Scorpion. He's not an easy character to move with. His walk speed is really good. But his dash blocking is kind of suspect. Oh, 
Oh, nice. That's that spacing I was talking about earlier. D. Hugh, so good at that. That's a punish. Oh, jumps out. And D. Hugh, one match away. Now, damage scales based off of how many times you hit the opponent, and certain moves scale differently. Yo, I like that. That jump kick into the dash forward, forward three, that was nasty. Punish. Oh my god, these guys are using interactables like crazy. Oh, catches him with the sand. He's like, yo, I'm about to throw the sand out. Psych, spear to your face. Oh, good whiff punish. So force him out of combo. Oh, here we go. Here we go. He still has his fatal blow. Oh, he went for it. No punish. And he stays alive. Game five, round three. <laughs> round. I use Scorpion a little bit, Black Caesar, yeah. Certain matchups, I'll use them. That's a good punish. Ooh, nice jump kick. Oh, D. Hugh got caught. Look like he was trying to like back dash and back one. Through the well. Hit him with the shenanigans. Oh boy. Punish. Yo, oh, what with the chainsaw? Yo, these guys are wild. Oh, and the down one connects. And Hippo is going to take it three to two. Good games, guys.